Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you guys are all well. Welcome to another styling video. Today I thought it would be very fitting, seeing as the sun is shining, to film a spring outfits video. I'm basically just going to show you a ton of outfits that I usually find myself reaching for or creating when it's spring. All of these things can kind of be layered, they can be mix and matched, and they're just kind of outfit combinations that I usually go for in spring. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So let's get straight into the video. I've got loads of gorgeous pieces on this rail, some new, some old, some very old. So all of these will be linked down below in the description, and I will also include sizing, and if the piece is very old, I will link a similar one. This is the type of outfit that I will throw on day to day, so easy to wear, it's really versatile and could be perfect for any occasion. I actually think this would also be really lovely with some heels, like some mules or something like that for a more nicer lunch or for an evening. These jeans I absolutely love, actually from H&M and they were really, really long wide leg jeans and I actually just cut them to be the perfect length for me. I fell in love with these wide leg jeans. I think it must have been last year and I got them from Nadia. She was always wearing them and they looked amazing on her. So I thought, do you know what? I've never tried that style of jean before. I never thought I would like it, but I love it. I think it just is so flattering the way that they are nice and fitted around the waist and then they just skim your leg so nicely, which makes them really comfortable. And I have paired these jeans with my everyday weekday tank. I have these in all sorts of colours. They are so soft, really flattering, so easy to wear and I love just pairing them with jeans and blazers. It's so easy to style. So to keep on brand with the neutral palette, I've also popped on this linen blazer. This is the kind of thing that I will always just throw on. It's so lightweight. It's got this gorgeous texture to it. This is from Under the Stories and I just love how the fit of this sits on my body. It's, it's oversized, but it still does look quite tailored and you can just roll up your sleeves and it really gives a nice silhouette to the outfit. Outfit number two, another really easy throw on look. I've kept the same basic tank just to show you how versatile it is, but you could wear all sorts of colors with this slip skirt. Very aware that it's quite creased. Sorry about that, I definitely should have steamed it before. But I absolutely love slip skirts. I've had a lot of DMs recently asking how I would style this brown skirt in particular from End of the Stories. And I just think there's so many ways you can style it. You can dress them up and down, they're so easy. So if you would like me to do a dedicated on the rail video, how I would style a slip skirt, please let me know in the comments because I can definitely do that if you'd like to see some more options. But for this outfit, I've got the tank top, the slip skirt, and then I've just chucked on this blazer in a really gorgeous like mocha kind of colour. This is from Because of Alice, and I absolutely love this. I really like how the neutral chocolatey tones in this outfit all come together. And then I've also just popped on my Fendi slides just to add in that element of brown as well. Summery look. This is also a great day to night option because you can chuck on a pair of heels, a really nice neutral pair of mules or something like that, and it's such an elevated evening look as well. My next outfit, this is heavily inspired by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. I saw an outfit like this really similar on her Instagram and I just loved it. So these trousers are from Erin Paris and I absolutely adore them. They are just tailored wide leg trousers. I have taken them up a little bit but not too much, so I can still wear them with a heel and they fit to the floor really nicely. A really gorgeous kind of sagey colour, which is still really neutral, but I really love the tones of this. Actually, this outfit fits my background really nicely. I've kept the same tank top again, um, but I would also wear this with a white one as well. And I've just popped on this gorgeous linen shirt. This is from Zara, and I've had this for a really long time, but they have a really similar one from H&M, exactly the same. I love how you can wear something like this with the tank top on its own and then you could maybe switch out your jacket for a blazer, even a matching blazer to the trousers and you've got a really nice tailored look. By putting on the linen shirt layer, it just creates that effortless model of duty kind of vibe. I really, really love this outfit and I've paired it with 
my Acne Studio Manhattan sneakers, which definitely need a clean. Um, just because they are super chunky, so they really give me some height with these long trousers. But the white really ties in nicely as well. In the summer months, I would probably wear this with some open-toed sandals or something like that. Just so that it's a little bit more airy and more kind of summery vibes. This next outfit is something that I've only started liking recently and it's the kind of pyjama as outerwear vibe. I have taken quite a long time to warm to this trend. I'm not sure why, um, I think it's just because things like this don't always suit me but this white Because of Alice two piece I just have fallen in love with. I've worn it so much at home, popping to the shops, running errands, now the weather's a little bit nicer. And I just wanted to show you it styled up with black accessories and in particular the bag because I think that's what really stops it from looking like a pyjama outfit is your accessories. So I just love this so much. I've actually had to cut the bottoms of this because it was way too long for me um, and I do need to get this ta taken up properly because it looks not great. But for argument's sake... I've put on my black slip-on loafers, really easy shoe to style it with. They look really smart, but they're also so easy to just chuck on. And then I've also got my YSL bag. And you could also wear this with like a leather jacket or a blazer over your shoulders to make it look that little bit more smart. But these kind of outfits are so easy to throw on. They're really airy, they're really light, comfortable. Also, you could wear a white tank top or a bralette underneath and have your shirt open. I just love these. This is the kind of thing I'd love to wear to the airport or, you know, something like that. This next outfit is another absolute favourite of mine for spring. I love knitted dresses. They're so easy to throw on and they just have no thought behind them, but they look so chic and effortless. This one is from Forever New, which is one of my favourite brands at the minute. They've got some really, really gorgeous pieces, so I really recommend checking out the website. But I love how this is a v-neck, it's a little bit low but it's not too low, um, really nice long sleeves, such a nice midi length and then it also has the slit which again just looks really lovely. I've styled this with my Prada loafers just because they're really easy shoe to wear, they look quite smart but you could honestly wear this with any shoe. I think an open toe mule in the evening would look really lovely but also a chunky boot as well if it's raining but you still want that kind of spring vibe. I would also style this with a leather jacket so if you want to wear a jacket with a knitted dress but you're not really sure what and maybe a blazer's not working, a leather jacket always looks so great especially when you've got black accessories. I think it really just tones down the look especially when you're wearing a dress and yeah I just love it. It really kind of adds a little bit of edge to the look. This kind of outfit I just think is so easy to wear and you can even wear this in the warmer months of spring as well because if you take your jacket off, you've got a really lovely streamline. Speaking of dresses, this is another absolute favourite spring look of mine. A really floaty, simple black dress, but look at that back detail. So gorgeous. Um, I really love dresses like this. Again, they're really easy just to put on. You don't have much thought behind them, but they look really chic and stylish. I've styled this with my Prada loafers, and then I'm also going to show you it styled with a blazer and a leather jacket, because I would wear both for different occasions. So with the leather jacket, we're going for something a little bit more pared back, a bit more casual. I really love the silhouette of a cropped jacket with a long line dress, especially the floaty kind of chiffon material against the leather. It looks very cool indeed. I always go for these outfits. They're so easy. And I feel like this is the type of thing I would wear in the city. And then if it gets a little bit warmer, you could take your jacket off. You know, there's a lot of versatility to it. But then also styled with a blazer. This one is a little bit more tailored. So it's really gorgeous. Kind of like boucle wool um, fitted blazer from Forever New. This just kind of elevates it a little bit more. If you're wearing perhaps a heeled boot or maybe even a heel with this. It just elevates it a little bit more, makes it look a bit more tailored and smart. And yeah, this is the type of thing I would definitely wear into London for meetings or something where I just want to look a bit smarter. So the final outfit. 
I love this and I think it could be one of my favourites. I feel so Victoria Beckham-esque in this outfit. Mainly due to the trousers. These are a satin pair of wide leg trousers from Warehouse. I love them so much. I think they would look so great in the evening as well with a pair of heels. But I've paired them with my Prada loafers. Keep it nice and simple and smart. But you could also wear trainers with this look and I think it would bring more of like a sporty element to it. I've then paired the trousers with my white t-shirt from Novo. I love this, it's so thick and heavy, really good quality. I'll just show you how long it is as well. It's a really oversized, long line fit, perfect, really versatile, but I just fold it up and then I just twist it at the back and then I just tuck that up. This only really works when you've got a jacket on, but I tuck it up at the back and then just kind of play around with it at the front to get the look that I want. Yeah, easy. And then blazer wise, this is my same forever new blazer. I've just popped this on my shoulders because in spring I usually tend to wear a lot of my jackets on my shoulders because I want it for the outfit and maybe just for like coverage a little bit, but it's warm so I want to have my arms out. So that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed this video and do let me know down below which outfit was your favourite and if there's any pieces in this video that you are going to be picking up or perhaps I've inspired you to style something that you already have in your wardrobe, I'd love to hear from you so do drop a comment below. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video.